What's up, it's Roy here. So today I have a big box here from Casetify with some goodies for my Google Pixel 7 inside of here. So let's get this bad boy open. Here we go. So this is for the Pixel 7, like I said. I really think Casetify does the best job when it comes to actually the presentation of their cases when they send them to content creators because look at this, this is crazy. Like. Most of the time they're just in a cardboard box and people just send them and Caseify steps it up with this beautiful little package here. So one thing I will say is that if you are interested in buying any of these cases for your Pixel 7 or anything when it comes to any Caseify product for an iPhone or your AirPods or whatever, you can actually follow my custom URL and that's casetify.com forward slash Roy Flores. That's gonna take you to a custom page for me that'll show all these cases. It'll show pretty much any case you want from Casetify and then it will apply 15% off at checkout. So just FYI, if you're interested, make sure to follow those links. But what I have here are a few different cases one looks like a custom one with my name, which is really cool. So let's go ahead and get these bad boys out. So with this particular one here, it's a clear case that has kind of a ghosted outside here. But first thing that I noticed was the white interior padding. That's something you don't usually see. It's usually black. So I thought that was kind of cool. Got some of the packaging or wrapping on it still. So there we go. But yeah, that's a pretty cool looking case for a clear case, but that's case number one. Case number two, we have this black one that says worldwide. And right off the bat, as I'm peeling off the sticker part here, I see that this one has a red interior. So once again, something different. I think that's pretty cool actually that uh, they went with a different color. Would have been cool if it was yellow to kind of match the writing of the worldwide, but once again, there's red. So that's case number two. Case number three is the custom one that they made for me, which is really awesome. Casetify has really stepped up that type of uh, custom game for me when it comes to these phone cases, uh, cause they never tell me that they're gonna do that, but it's very welcomed when they do send a case with my name actually on it. It's uh, basically the exact same case as this one. Uh, it's just showing you the customization side of things where you can put someone's name or whatever, but it says Roy there, so that's kind of cool. So that's number three. And then last but not least, case number four. Let's peel that sticker off first, pop this off. So this one's a black case. So this one's actually pretty cool because if it's just a black case that you're going after, this is basically this case, except it doesn't say the worldwide graphic. It's just black, the red interior. So that's pretty sick. So let's get this out of here and let's get this cleaned up a little bit. All right, now that we have it all cleaned up here, now I have my Pixel 7 here. So let's go ahead and start slapping some of these bad boys on. So I can't resist, but I gotta put that first one on, that custom clear one here. So as you can see here, it looks pretty awesome. So with this clear back, it's a dot matrix pattern i can see that already with my obsidian black phone case the g does shine through now granted with all the lighting and stuff here i'm not sure how great it's going to show up in the video hopefully it's doing it some justice here but it is a very dark experience with the black pixel 7. now looking at the camera bump Something I've always loved about Casetify cases is that dark, prominent camera bump border with Casetify in white writing around them. So I think that looks really cool. It does have a little bit of a curve to it to match the bend and the actual camera cut out there. So that's the look of it, clear in the back, clear up here. Has the Roy right there, which you can actually feel it when you're you know, rubbing your fingers across it. And then with the sides, with it having that white interior, it actually kind of almost looks like a, I don't know, like a, like a ghosted out kind of tan almost color. 
Uh, hard to explain, once you see it in person, you'd be able to tell what I'm talking about, but maybe the video will do it some justice as well. But uh, just imagine something white that's over something that's smoked out, and that's kind of the color effect that we're getting here. So that is the back, the side here, has this great grippy material, got your volume up and down and power buttons here. It does say on the side, like all the other Casetify cases, that this case is made from 65% recycled material. And then moving to the bottom here, you can see we have some nice cutouts for the USB-C charging port and the speakers. This side is just all that grippy material. And then the top, we do have a cutout for the uh, mic and then that's the top look so you can see it's very very flat and then looking at the front You can see we have some good lips around the front and then looking at it from the front You can see the lips around it as well So nothing too crazy and then that's the cutout for the actual speaker there But very grippy very slim as well. So it doesn't really feel like it's a bulky case uh, so I do like that and I can already tell the fingerprints are not gonna be an issue. Smudges can be an issue with these types of cases, so that's just something to point out. But just like a quick wipe down with your shirt will just clean it right off. So let's go ahead and get this one off. So as far as the uninstall process, pretty simple, as you can see there, nothing to it. So we got that off, super, super simple. Uh, next, let's go ahead and do the Prestige Worldwide one here. So. As far as the actual case goes, it looks identical to this one. It's just a harder black shell uh, and just has more of a matte black texture all around the actual case. You can fill the actual logo and design. So if you rub your finger over any part of the design, you can actually feel it. So that's pretty cool. It kind of actually helps with grip a little bit now that I'm kind of playing around with it a little more. And then that's the look of the camera bump once again. So that very recognizable Casetify branding. And then the side is matte black, has the you know raised buttons on this side, cutouts there again, this side kind of the same thing. So if you're someone that likes a black case but wants to have it jazzed up a little bit with a logo, then at least there's the worldwide one. Next, we'll slap on its counterpart, just the straight up generic black one. Now this one's one that I probably would use the most if I was to use any of these cases on a regular basis. Uh, it would really be down to these two. Even though I'm a big fan of my name being on a phone case, I could see some of my friends really making fun of me for that, but it's awesome to really, I, what I'm gonna do actually with a lot of these Caseify cases, I'm trying to think of like a cool shadow box idea for my wall in my office at home. I think that would be really cool. But with this one, this is probably the main one I would use the most because it's generic, it's black, it feels good, it's slim, it just looks good. Fingerprints aren't an issue once again. Smudges can be with these kind of matte black style of cases. The sides are once again matted as well. So exactly like this worldwide case just doesn't say worldwide on the back. And then looking at the front, you can see how slim it is as well. So it looks good, looks really good. So with this case on, let's do a couple of different tests. I'm gonna do the wobble test with this case. So face down, there's no shaking going on at all. And then if I put it back down, there's no shaking going on as well. So if you're someone that doesn't like a wobbly case, this does pass that test with flying colors. Okay, and with this case on, let's go ahead and do the clicky button test. So let's start with that power button first. And volume up and down. Okay, so guys, this obviously passes with flying colors. Surely you heard those clicky buttons from my shotgun mic, which is mounted probably about a good solid two feet away from the phone itself. It's closer to my face, but this case buttons 
are super clicky and that's the case for all of them so this one this one and this one all of them are super clicky buttons so that is a huge thumbs up when it comes to the button side of things. Next, let's go ahead and do the Qi wireless charging test. So I'm gonna just drag my charger over here and here we go. So I'm just gonna slap it on. And as you can see with the animation there that it is Qi wirelessly charging my phone. So I can use this with any Qi wireless charger. If you wanted to get even trickier with it, I got my MagSafe charger there and it will MagSafe charge, but obviously it's acting as a Qi wireless charger, but it does have the ability to charge with a MagSafe charger, a Qi wireless charger. Uh, you can do a reverse power share with this. So if you wanted to charge like your ear, some earbuds or something on the back or another phone, you could totally do that with this. And you can also do Google Pay with ease, so no issues at all. But I wanted to slap this one on last because this would be the second go-to for me because I like clear cases that aren't overwhelming, but they're not just generic, completely clear. So with this one, like I said, having that dot matrix pattern that's gonna help with anti-clinging so there's no watermarks or anything inside. And then with that different pop of color from the white, I think it just looks way cooler than just having just a generic black translucent part here. It just separates a little bit different from the pack of other clear cases out there. And then having that black border uh, just sets it off even more. That's kind of the cherry on top. Very grippy though, very, very grippy. So there you have it guys. There is my lot of Pixel 7 cases for my Google Pixel 7. They make them for the 7 Pro as well. So like I said, if you follow my link, you'd be able to buy any case for any device that Casetify makes cases for, obviously. So like I said, just make sure to follow that link and you should be able to find stuff pretty dang easily. So there we have it, guys. So hit that like button if you liked the video. If you loved it, please subscribe. Ring that notification bell for up-to-date content. So be safe, God bless. We'll see you on the next one.